There are no plans for any more trade talks between the two sides at the moment. So what's next, I guess, for the two sides? Well, Tom, like you said, China's retaliation is set to start tomorrow. They're going to increase tariffs on about $60 billion of goods. Um, at the same time, there's a couple of key meetings coming up in the next few weeks. The biggest one, of course, is Trump and Xi, who are set to meet at the G20 in Japan. And Xi will also be traveling to Russia next week. He's expected to sign about 30 trade, agree 30 trade and energy agreements with Russia. And you could see this as him looking to boost his relationships with other allies at the same time that the trade war with the U.S. is deepening. And we're really seeing both sides kind of digging their heels in for a longer haul than we thought even just a month ago. Yeah, I, you kind of already answered it. But what's been the response from China, apart from what you maybe have already mentioned there? You know, China is digging its heels, and it's in a it's in a precarious position. Mm. It wants to not eradicate the chances of a trade deal. At the same time, it wants to show Trump that it's not somebody that's going to be pushed around. Um, so you're seeing an uptick in anti-U.S. rhetoric. It's really come out and blasted the U.S.'s policies in recent days. Um, it's obliquely hinted that it might cut off U.S. access to rare earths, which is, okay. you know, key to certain technologies, and the U.S. needs it. Um, and now we're, now we're hearing, as Tom said, that um, it might scale back its purchases of U.S. soy. So they're kind of trying to hit the U.S. on all angles, but it is a, it is a tricky balancing act.